The deadliest underwater volcano, hiding in the Pacific Ocean, has violently cracked open the Earth and sent shockwaves worldwide. Scientists have discovered the true ferocity of a huge volcanic eruption off the coast of Tonga. Scientists suspect that this pending eruption's sheer ferocity would equal 100 Hiroshima bombs, and it would be so catastrophic, and its magnitude would be like nothing had ever been seen, that every corner of the Earth would be affected. We have dreaded the awakening of the Hunga Tonga Hunga Haapai volcano for years, fearing the havoc it could wreak. Now the worst nightmares have materialized. How massive would this eruption be? How drastic could its impact be? In this video, we will discuss the deadliest underwater volcano that suddenly cracked open the Earth. The deadliest volcano has suddenly cracked open. Thick volcanic dust can currently be seen over Tonga's capital, Nuku'alofa, and this is because the deadliest underwater volcano, the Hunga Tonga Hunga Haapai volcano, has suddenly cracked open and is on the verge of erupting. The probability of an eruption is now about 360% and the Volcanic Explosivity Index is the same as that of six eruptions, meaning that this would be the deadliest eruption ever seen since Krakatoa in the 19th century, and potentially destroy the world. The Hunga Tonga Hunga Haapai volcano resides along the Kermadec Tonga Ridge. Its base is about 20 kilometers in diameter and reaches a height of approximately 2,000 meters towards the ocean surface. The volcano's caldera is approximately 490 feet below sea level, measuring 2.5 miles in length and a mile in width. Previous eruptions that dad as far back as Yelvin Ottermate Sea have shaped the volcano's landscape, but the coming volcano would exceed the 2021's, 2022 eruptions, which were the biggest and could influence more than just the volcano's landscape. History of Hunga Tonga Hunga Haiapai, Volcanic Eruptions. Historically, Hunga Tonga Hunga Haiapai has witnessed periodic eruptions from its volcanoes, with its first significant eruption in 1912, the 1937 eruption, and a few other eruptions in the 21st century. In March 2009, the explosion of a volcano near the Hunga Tonga Hunga Haapai triggered a volcanic eruption that sent ash thousands of feet into the sky. According to Tonga's chief geologist, Kalepi Mafi, the eruption covered Hunga Harbor Island with thick black ash and created new land as it destroyed vegetation. Another eruption in 2014 started with a series of earthquakes that lasted for several weeks, and in mid-December 2014, the eruption began. It created a tall white steam plume that rose from the ocean over the volcanic mount and was visible to local fishermen. The eruption continued into 2015, with its ash clouding kilometers in the sky. On January 6th, geologists said the ash had gotten as many kilometers as kilometers upon their visit. Geologists from New Zealand, on their visit, observed the eruption's decline, and by the end of January, Tongan officials declared that the eruption had stopped. In June 2017, two French explorers, Cecil Sabel and Damien Gruya, visited the islands, took pictures of their landscape, and gathered 16 rock samples. When these samples were gathered, they were seen as important when NASA began studying their samples. These rocks from Hunga Tonga Hunga Harapai became important samples and helped researchers understand the Hunga Tonga Hunga Haapai volcanoes more. The Hunga Tonga Hunga Haapai volcano erupted on December 20th, 2021. This eruption was so strong that its ash could be seen clearly in Nuku'alofa. The eruption was unprecedented, and the Volcanic Ash Advisory Center in Wellington had to issue impromptu instructions to airlines scheduled to pass through that region. The powerful eruption could be heard 110 miles away from the volcanoes and continued until 2 a.m. the next day. The volcano was declared dormant on January 11th, but to everyone's surprise, it became active again. On January 14th, it sent ash 12 miles into the air, on the 15th, the eruption was far stronger than the one on December 20th. It sent ash plumes 36 miles into the sky, setting a record for how high a vapor plume from a volcano can go. The explosive force of the volcano was said to be like the force of multiple hydrogen bombs. As it caused tsunami waves, its boom could be heard 6,200 miles from the eruption site. The tsunami waves were 148 feet on Tonga's Tafua Island, and 56 feet on Tongatapu, 
and the water vapor released was equal to 58,000 swimming pools. The eruption did set the record for the highest volcano plume. It projected ash 36 miles into the atmosphere. It also created atmospheric waves that circled the globe at 720 miles per hour. After the eruption, researchers saw the damage. Confirming the study's findings, the landscape showed the eruption's power, with downed trees and vegetation along the coast. The extent of the damage is still unknown, because an undersea cable was damaged. But Sky News reported videos that showed waves hitting Tonga's coastal areas. Atata, a small island near the capital, is presently submerged underwater, and some of its residents struggle to breathe because of the ash. Mango Island was also left in ruins as its structures were reduced to rubble. On neighboring Fonoifua Island, only two buildings were left standing. The west coast of Tongatapu also saw 21 homes destroyed, and 35 more severely damaged. The eruption ravaged the waterfront of Nuku'alofa, with reports of missing individuals adding to the devastation. The World Bank estimated the total damage in Tonga at a staggering $90.4 million, significantly impacting the country's GDP, which accounts for 18.5% of its total. What triggered the immense fury of the Hunga Tonga Hunga Ha'apai eruption? The 2021-2022 Hunga Tonga Hunga Ha'apai volcano eruption was caused by pyroclastic flow. This is when a deadly avalanche of searing hot ash and volcanic debris moves with terrifying speed, reaching up to 200 meters per second. These pyroclastic flows, incredibly hot and capable of burning everything in their path, form when the volcanic material expelled during an eruption cascades down the volcano's sides. Even though scientists know a lot about pyroclastic flows on land, more is needed to know about the unique challenges their underwater counterparts pose. The dynamics of how volcanic material interacts with water and the seafloor significantly impact the behavior and consequences of underwater eruptions. In the case of Hunga Tonga Hunga Ha'apai, the pyroclastic flows wreaked havoc on the ocean floor, causing massive disruptions and impeding Tonga's recovery efforts. Emily Lane of Niwa conducted modeling that explained how the volcanic material interacted with the underwater landscape. The eruption dug 2,000 or 300 feet into the central crater and flung three quarters of the excavated rock within 12 miles of the volcano. The remaining material circulated in the atmosphere as dust, intensifying the colors of sunrises and sunsets in the following months, the 2021-2022 eruptions are undoubtedly one of the deadliest ever, but they were not as drastic as the Krakatoa eruption, the most destructive eruption in modern man's history. The Krakatoa eruption. The Krakatoa volcano is located between the Java and Sumatra islands in Indonesia. Before its eruption in 1883, the volcano had small eruptions and caused slight trebles that showed it was active. The magma was slowly pushing towards the surface towards the volcano, and by August 1883, the pressure inside the volcano had reached a critical point. The volcano erupted on May 20, 1883. It is one of the strongest and most destructive volcanic activities ever recorded. It lasted until October 21, 1883. Its kind of eruption is called a Plinian eruption, and it is famous for making a tall column of ash and gases. The eruption was so big that the island collapsed and caused huge tsunamis. The death toll was estimated to be between 36,417 and 120,000. The island where Krakatoa was is now a big hole in the sea. Over time, a new island grew, filling the hole that was initially made. This was caused by new volcanic activities underwater. This new island is called Anak Krakatau, a child of Krakatoa. Anak Krakatau is still an active volcano today. Historically, how much can a volcanic eruption affect us? Massive volcanic activities were considered a thing of the past because major eruptions were easily contained, but recent eruptions have shaken everyone to their core. The planet once witnessed the drastic effect of a volcano in the volcanic winter of 536, a global chill pill, as it caused darkness and freezing temperatures that lasted for years. The exact location of the eruption needed to be documented. It probably erupted in Iceland, North America, Indonesia, or South America.
However, its impact was wide and affected countries as far away as China and the Middle East. The volcanic winter of 536 released a lot of volcanic ash into the air, blocking the sunlight and making the earth cooler. By March of that year, the sky got darker and the atmospheric temperature dropped. European summers were almost 2.5 degrees Celsius below normal. This led to famine and a pandemic. The lack of food and crop failures led to the Plague of Justinian, named after a Byzantine emperor. This disease took the lives of a whopping 25 to 50 million people, a massive chunk of the population back then. Volcanic eruptions normally impact the Earth's climate and weather patterns. When volcanoes erupt, they release gases and particles like sulfur dioxide, carbon dioxide, and ash into the air. This sulfur dioxide can turn into sulfuric acid and affect the climate. During big explosive eruptions, a lot of volcanic gas, tiny droplets, and ash enter the stratosphere. These particles reflect sunlight away, cooling the lower atmosphere of the Earth. Some eruptions in the last 100 years temporarily dropped the Earth's surface temperature by up to half a degree Fahrenheit for one to three years. Usually, volcanic eruptions make the Earth cooler. Sulfur dioxide particles high in the air reflect sunlight away, causing a cooling effect. However, a recent study found that the underwater eruption of Hunga Tonga Hunga Ha Pai in the South Pacific had unexpected results. This eruption sent a huge amount of water into the air, contributing to a rise in global surface temperatures over several years. This temperature increase is concerning, especially as it might break the 1.5 degrees Celsius warming limit of climate agreements. The eruptions plume from Hunga Tonga Hunga Ha Pai differed from other volcanic events. While usual eruptions release cooling sulfur dioxide aerosols, this eruption's main component is water vapor. The eruption sent a massive 0.42 million tons of cooling sulfur dioxide aerosols into the stratosphere, but a whopping 146 million tons of water vapor significantly increased the water content in the stratosphere by 10 to 15 percent. This unique mix contributed to a warming effect, opposite to the usual cooling seen in most volcanic eruptions. The eruption released tremendous energy, disturbing the Earth's atmosphere's charged layer, the ionosphere, with a force similar to a solar geomagnetic storm. The effects of the eruption reached beyond the Earth's atmosphere. Observations in the far ultraviolet light spectrum showed a temporary decrease in emissions, hinting that the water vapor from the undersea volcano might have reached space. Astronauts on the International Space Station saw the volcanic plume from an amazing viewpoint, 269 miles above the Pacific Ocean. This rare event gave scientists valuable insights into the eruption's extent and potential impact on higher atmospheric layers. Moreover, the eruption caused an unusual increase in lightning strikes. More than 25,000 lightning events occurred in just five minutes, escalating to 400,000 over six hours. The erupting plume also created an incredibly intense lightning storm with around 2,600 lightning flashes per minute at its peak, totaling approximately 192,000 flashes over 11 hours. What's particularly interesting is that these lightning strikes happened at an unprecedented altitude between 12 and 19 miles above the Earth's surface, surpassing any previously recorded lightning event. This unusual lightning was detected by a network of radio antenna designed for tracking storms and two Earth-orbiting spacecraft. The GOES-17 satellite operated by the U.S. National Oceanic and Atmospheric Administration and the Japanese Meteorological Agency's Himawari-8 satellite. The satellite images showed that the lightning wasn't randomly spread across the plume but occurred in several concentric rings linked to each explosive outburst from the volcano. As the plume rose, it formed an umbrella cloud with material falling and oscillating around a layer of neutral buoyancy. Lighting may have formed within this ring-shaped gravity wave in two ways. Since the Hunga Tonga eruption happened underwater, it injected much water into the Earth's atmosphere, 
resulting in ice crystals adopting positive and negative charges. Also, some volcanic ash formed from fragmented rock and magma blown into the air by the eruption became ionized, creating more positively and negatively charged areas. The difference in electrical charge caused sudden sparks of lightning. While lightning rings have been seen in volcanic plumes before, the Hunga Tonga eruption was the first time multiple rings had been seen, four in total, matching the four faces of the volcano's eruption, and the lightning followed the rippling rings like a surfer on ocean waves. Researchers, including Dr. Shane Cronin, a professor of earth sciences at the University of Auckland, studied the volcano's past behavior. Their investigations showed evidence of significant eruptions happening about every 1,000 years, with the last notable event around the year 1100. It's easy to look at an event like the volcanic winter of 536 and think it couldn't happen today. But the Hunga Tonga eruptions were just as powerful, if not more. The consequences are severe, with many sea animals buried, habitats ruined, and the land's fertility in danger. This affects Tonga and has wider impacts on crops and fish, leading to food shortages and financial losses. Adding to Tonga's challenges from the pandemic, the eruption has caused more destruction, displaced people, and disrupted businesses. This unexpected event has global implications, making us wonder about its impact on our planet. The big concern now is that the previous eruptions have left Hunga Tonga vulnerable to another significant eruption soon. If it happens, it could bring back past catastrophic times with famines, diseases, and other challenges resurfacing, and this time, overcoming them might be even harder. This historical context raises questions about the possibility of more substantial eruptions in the future, highlighting the ongoing scientific investigation into the behavior of underwater volcanoes like Hunga Tonga Hunga Ha'apai, the possibility of more eruptions in the future. Considering how big the Hunga Tonga Hunga Ha'apai volcano erupted, is projected to be one might wonder if it's the last time it will erupt. Well, not exactly. Even though the eruptions in 2021 and 2022 were unprecedented, they had been giving off signs of erupting. This volcano has a track record of being spontaneous because it has been challenging to monitor underwater volcanoes since what is seen on the surface is just a small part of what is happening underwater. What do you think about the pending eruption? Do you think humanity could survive its impact? Leave your comments below. Also, like this channel and subscribe to be updated with the latest content. Thank you.